Hello, hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to start learning how to multiply whole numbers, and we're going to use the strategy of the area model. So I'm going to teach you all about how to do that. So let's get started. Um, just a reminder that there is an exit ticket at the end, and there will be some like instructions for you to follow. So make sure you're following along closely. On your whiteboard right now, I'd like you to just find the difference or the value of y, and then uh, check back with me to see what you did correctly. Remember, uh, when you line it up vertically, that you're lining it up in the right place values. Go ahead, pause your video, and then check back with me. Awesome. So if you went through and solved this equation when you found the difference, um, does anyone remember how we could double check our work? with a subtraction equation. So hopefully in your head right now, you're like, oh yes, the inverse operation. So I could do the opposite to double check. So I could take this difference and add it to my subtrahend, and if I was correct, it would equal my minimum. So that's one strategy you could do to double check your work. I just wanted to give you a few reminders because you, this past week, we learned about multiples and we learned about factors. Um, two key precise words that we've been learning about. If you wanted to take a screenshot of this so you have it to refer back to. Multiples are those numbers that we say when we're skip counting. And factors are numbers that we multiply to get to a product. Great job. All right, so Mrs. Andrews is going to model for you. When I say model, you say ooh la la, model, we are going to learn how to use the area model. Now, when I want you to think about area, I want you to think about a specific amount of space. So I'm trying to find the product or the answer of 48 times six, also known as the value of Y. So let me show you. As we start doing this, what I would need to do in a true area model is I would count out 48, 40 blocks. I'd count one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way till I got to 40, okay? Because I have the number 48. So I would put 40 on this side, my first factor, and then over here would be eight. I'm breaking apart that first factor. I'm breaking it up by 10 and 1. So I had 48 and I broke it up by 40 and 8. I'm multiplying both of these numbers by the number 6. So over here, I'm going to put the number 6. Now these blocks would represent 40, these blocks would equal 8, and this would be 6. Obviously, it's not exact, but I just wanted to show you what the true area model represents. Now, what I'll do is I'll create an equation. I'm going to kind of meet them in the middle. So 40 and 6 is my first equation. 40 times 6 equals. And then over here, I'm going to multiply 8 times 6, and I multiply them together. So first, I like to do my patterns of 10. So I multiply 4 times 6. You've been practicing your math facts every night, so this is easy. Four times six is 24. So I know 40 times six is 240. And I'm just going to uh, make this bold or something so I notice that. Then I'm going to do eight times six. When I multiply eight times six, I get 48. So these are my two partial products. Now I'm going to add them up. I am going to add 240 plus 48. And when I add them together, I get 288. Therefore, I know my value of y is 288. Okay, so I multiplied them both up. I added them together, and 48 times 6 is 288. Okay, let's try one together. 
So we're trying to find the product of 52 and 4. What I want you to do first on your whiteboard is break apart 50 and 2. So we'll make our box. We have 50 over here. Oops, did I do a text box there? Jeez, this is Andrew. Sorry, guys. We have 50. We don't have to make it too big because it only represents two over here. And we're multiplying both of these numbers by our second factor, which is four. I want you to take a second, pause your video, and fill in this middle part. What do you get when you multiply these together? Go ahead, pause your video. Awesome. When you did this, you had 50 times 4. My cheat for myself is I do 5 times 4, and I know that equals 20. So 50 times 4 would equal 200. Excuse me. And then over here, I have 2 times 4, which I know is 8. So I am multiplying 50 times 4 and 2 times 4. And then I'm going to add these two together. So I have 200 plus 8. And we get a total. Oh my, of 208. Our value of y is 208. I want you to try this next one all by yourself and then check back with me to double check your work, okay? So, sorry I had, here we go. 76 times five. So I want you to pause your video, try this one all by yourself. If you need to go back and look at the other problem for help, go ahead and check that out. Um, uh, and then let me know and we'll, we'll go over it, okay? Hopefully as you were solving this, you, your first step was to break that first factor in parts. So you broke it up into tens and ones. So we're breaking 76 into 70, and then we're breaking the ones, and that's six. And we're multiplying both of those numbers by the number five. Now we can write our equation, 70 times five. Now, I like to do my cheats and do seven times five because that's easier for me than counting 75 times or counting five 70 times. So I do seven times five, which I know is 35. So 70 times five is 350. Then I can do my six times five. Oh boy, the technology is not working with me today. And six times five is 30. So um, now I'm going to just highlight these so it makes it easier for me to identify which parts I need to add. I don't want you to get confused and add the wrong parts. So we're gonna add 350 plus 30. Those are my two partial products, partial products. It doesn't give me the full product. It gives me part of the product and part of the product. And when you add them up, it equals 380, giving you a total value of Y as being 380. That is your product. At this time, I want you to think of any questions that you may have, or if you're like, hmm, Mrs. Andrews, what do I do here? Or I keep getting stuck on this. I want you to think of that and um, email me if you have a question or ask your homeroom teacher. Now, we're going to, on your whiteboard, I want you to simply write factor, product, variable, and area model. These are our precise words that we're learning about. And I need to know, in your words, what is a factor? What is a factor? What is a product, a variable, and an area model? If you're at home, can you just email me those answers so I know? If you're in the classroom, you can pause your video, hold up your board so I see. I'm going to quickly tell you answers. I'm not going to write them out because then people would see them. 
but a factor is a number that we multiply to get to a product. A product is an answer for a multiplication equation. A variable is a letter that we use that we're trying to find the value of, how much it's worth. And the area model is a strategy we use to multiply. All right, your exit ticket for today, it's kind of two parts. Your first part is I just simply want to see your work of how you solved this problem, 39 times 4. So you'll solve it on your whiteboard, take a picture. But then when you go to Schoology in today's math folder, um, you'll see in our exit ticket that it's just asking for the answer of that equation. I just want 39 times 4. But remember, to get full credit, I need to see a picture of how you solved it. I want to see that area model. And then on here, you answered it. So it's two parts, OK? My email's on here if you need it. Everyone should be emailing me. And everyone should be on Schoology putting in their value of why. Guys, great job today. Keep practicing those math facts each and every night, because the more fluent you are, the easier math is going to be. Thanks for working hard.